We also need this link to automatically go to the questions tab once it's reset the variables. So we need to change the JavaScript. Go in edit, and go to the action. Now there's a great JavaScript function that we haven't used yet, and that is the following. App dot show screen is a special JavaScript function that will show a certain screen. You then need to add brackets and inside the brackets we're going to put a number. The number is the ID, the ID number for the screen that we're going to go to. Now let me show you where I can find that ID. I'm going to save this and we'll come back to it in a minute. The screen we want to go to is on the questions tab. If I go to that screen and click on the title bar and go edit, you'll notice here underneath all the fields there's the ID. This is the ID for the screen. So I'm going to highlight that and select that number. and I'm going to just cancel. I don't need to save anything on this one. I'm going to go back to the quiz tab and edit my link. Open the action and finally in this method show screen I can paste in the number. There, I just needed the number. So I now have app.showScreen and then the ID of the screen that we're going to show, which is the question screen. So just to summarize once more, this code will first set all of the variables, and once it's done all of those, it will go app.showScreen and slide across to the questions tab. We'll test that in the next video.